Good morning, students and parents. I am Mr. Webb, your principal, and I have with me today... Mr. Clark. I'm the assistant principal here at Carville Intermediate School. We're excited to have you guys. This is our virtual open house slash student orientation. So the information we will share today is both for students and for parents. A little bit about the intermediate school. We have grades 4th, 5th, and 6th housed in this building. We have eight homeroom classes in each grade level. And you know what the best part is? What's that? We have countless people in this building here to support you, the parents, and your child throughout this year-long learning journey. I can't wait to get started. That's right. This is my ninth year as school principal, and it is my 20th first in education. Wow. How many do you have? Well, this is my 23rd year in education, all of which have been here in the Carterville School District. Awesome. So I have three kids in the district. Uh, Logan will be a sophomore this year. I have a seventh grader named Mason and a third grader named Baylor. My wife, you may know Mrs. Webb, also teaches in the district kindergarten. Well, it sounds like we have a similar setup. I have twins, Elsie and Olin, who are going to be in this building. They will be sixth graders this year. And then I have another boy named Cap, and he is going into second grade. And then I have a kindergarten daughter named Clemmy and my wife also teaches in the district. She teaches in the social studies department at Carterville High School. All right, parents, what we really want to do is offer you all the resources that you may need to know or, or use to get yourselves and your children ready for school. On our website, if you go to CartervilleLions.org, you can click on Documents folder or click on the 2021-2022 tab, and there are countless documents there from school supply lists to a registration link if you've not already done so, also to a parent drop-off pickup, map and procedures, and countless other pieces of information that can help you and your child as you get ready for the school year. As new information becomes available for us, we continue to update that file, and also if there are other questions that you need that maybe aren't connected in there somewhere, go ahead and call our office at 985-6411. They can get you taken care of. So today, I think we should just take them on a mini tour and kind of walk students and parents through what a day in the life of an intermediate school student will look like. Let's take a look at CIS. Carterville Intermediate School students and parents, this is your school. And in the morning, if you are a parent drop-off, you can pull through our school parking lot right there. You can drop your child off next to those yellow columns. Or you can pull around in front to drop your child off. All students will walk down this sidewalk and enter the main student entrance right there. At the end of the day, sixth graders will exit in that entrance right there. So if you are a parent and you're picking up a sixth grader, you can park in this church parking lot right here. And your child can cross the street and you can pick them up there. All fifth grade parents can be picked up in the same lot or in our parking lot as they will exit the main office doors. Fourth grade students will exit the north doors of the building all the way over by James Street. So the best place for fourth grade parents to pick up is at James Street Park and our sixth grade teachers will be waiting outside for them. All bus riders will enter through the gym doors so in the mornings there will be no bus traffic here on School Street. Yeah. Alright students this is our main student entrance so if you are dropped off in the morning these are the doors that you will enter. If you see these yellow stripes on the concrete, you know you're in the right place. This is our sixth grade hallway, and these are our sixth grade classrooms. But when parents, our students are dropped off, the first thing to think about in the morning, those doors will open at 7.30 a.m. And if you are a student that arrives on the bus, or you walk, ride your bike, or a parent drops you off, the first thing you need to ask yourself is if you want breakfast. And if you do, you'll come straight in these doors, on this TV you'll see some of our morning announcements and you are now at the gym so you can see that the gym is right here and this is where you will sit in the morning but if you want breakfast you will walk down this hallway right here to our kitchen where you will pick up your morning breakfast and then you'll simply walk into the cafeteria so this is our kitchen you'll pick up your breakfast here and then you will walk into the cafeteria in the cafeteria for breakfast, we simply ask the students sit at every other seat. We want to maintain our social distance of at least three feet. And when you come down here for lunch, 
There are signs that will be hanging on the walls that tell your homeroom students where to sit. All students will sit every other seat and we will be sure to clean and sanitize all the tables and eating surfaces in between lunches. All right, students, when you, if you are a bus rider, you will come in that far door over there right next to the ladder. You'll come in that door right there and if you want to eat breakfast, you'll go down to the kitchen and get your meal and then the cafeteria. Mr. Clark, why don't you share about the morning routine in the gym here? Okay, so when our students come in in the mornings, if you choose not to eat breakfast or if you've already had breakfast, if you're a bus rider, like he said, you'll come through those doors down at that end of the gym. If you are a fifth grader, you will sit on one side of the gym. All fifth graders will be on that side. You will be grouped by your class, by your homeroom teacher. So you'll sit with your homeroom uh, peers. If you are a sixth grader, you'll sit on the other side of the gym with your class. You will be separated and uh, maybe sit at least three feet apart while you're on that side. So all of our sixth graders can safely fit over there. And then the fourth graders will have rows that they can uh, line up in on the floor. You can either uh, uh, sit in your spot on the floor uh, spaced out and we will come in and uh, keep you in groups by your classes, by your homeroom teachers. And then after Mr. Webb and I go through our morning announcements, we say our Pledge of Allegiance and address all of the students, we will then have your teachers come and get you and take you directly to class. So if you're a new student, if you're a fourth grader and you don't know the building very well, don't worry, we will get you where you need to be every day. We'll make sure that no one gets lost on the way to class and we'll have everybody ready to go at eight o'clock. All right, students, here's your library. This is where you can come in and check out books. The library will be open today. Or this school year. Oh, look, we got Mr. Clark here. What book are you reading? Reading Hatchet. Oh, that's the best book. One of the best we've got. Students, we have lots of um, technology that we are going to be sending your way this year. Uh, we are advancing our technology program, and all students in grades 3rd through 12th will have devices uh, that you'll have ex access to. So Google Chromebooks, like you've had access to last year, will be assigned to you this year. Parents and students, this is a fourth grade classroom. All of our students will be sitting three feet apart. Not so much the desk, but we're making sure the social distance is from person to person, and we're gonna maximize this space. So this is a current setup, but we will maximize the space in all of our classrooms. If you have ordered an EduKit, uh, your child's name is labeled on the box, and it will be delivered to your home room. So you won't need to worry about those school supplies. Favorite subject. Recess. <laughs> Recess. We have four square areas. We have basketball hoops. We have slides. We have teeter-totters, swings, and uh, lots of different balls and games to play when you're outside for recess. You will have lunch every single day, 20-minute recess, as well as PE or music every single day. Students will also have a period of the day called win time. Win stands for what I need and it's just a great academic opportunity to give students support and resources in any subject areas that they may need it. Parents and students, we hope that you enjoyed our tour. Our school day is from 8 to 2.55. In the morning, the doors will open for breakfast at 7.30. Our teachers work until 3.15 and our office is open daily until 4.00. If you have any questions, we encourage you to reach out. We are always here to help and serve you. For students in sixth grade that are on a junior high sports team, if you have practice right after school, we will have a bus to transport you to sports. It may change from day to day, but we will make those announcements in the morning and communicate them to your teachers so they know what's going on. Okay, so some students may have a couple of questions about their particular classroom or procedures in class. When are they going to find out how things are going to work? Is it, what about Tuesday at school? How's that going to be? So Tuesday, our teachers will meet us in the gym at 8 a.m. We will have some morning announcements, and Mr. Clark and I will just talk about a day in the life of an intermediate school student. And then we will take our each homeroom class, we'll take tours of the building. So you'll kind of get a feel for the space. You'll kind of know some rules and the expectations in different areas of the building from the cafeteria to the hallways, to the restrooms, to the playground, and you'll know what kind of the routines of the school day. Okay, well that seems like enough to get us started. Um, and if we still have questions or something that needs to be answered before the first day, you said we could refer to the school website. School website, or call the office. 
Your homeroom teachers will be setting up a Dojo account with you, so it's a great app that you can put on your phone or device. Instant communication between school and home. Um, some teachers use it for some behavior management, classroom management as well, but the school expectation is just a communication tool. Sounds like a lot of information. Where can they also go to find the app uh, and get all of our updates? The Carterville 5 app. Yeah. I think it's called Carterville 5. If you go to your app store and look to download that, search your school, there you go. We can send out text messages through that, and we can also send out news briefs that will be alerted to you on your phone or device. Okay, thank you. We're looking forward to a great year. Can't wait.